I started this channel back in 2010 as an outlet to talk about TV shows and for about four, four years maybe TV was my main focus on this channel but it came to my attention recently that I never really talk about TV shows anymore and primarily that's because I don't watch that many TV shows but I thought it would be a good opportunity now to address this because I get a lot of questions saying have you seen the latest season of X or do you watch Y? And usually the answer to that is no. But I will explain that and in doing so I will also talk about my top five but also top seven TV shows that I do still watch a lot. So the reason I don't watch that much TV is not because I'm not interested in it but it's because I'm so far behind that it would take such a massive time commitment to catch up with them and I just would rather spend that time watching films. I just prefer the fact that you can watch a film and then forget about it. Whereas with TV shows you've got to keep up with them and it's so easy to fall behind and it just it drives me crazy and I'm not very good at keeping up to date with them. The only one, and this is one of the top seven, is Broadchurch and it is over. After three series it's finished, it's done, I'm heartbroken but that is the only drama that I have kept up with and have religiously watched and got very excited for, mainly because I love Olivia Colman and David Tennant, but Broadchurch for me is the only drama in this list and the only one that, if it still existed, I would keep up with. Doctor Who as well, I, I completely keep up with, but it doesn't make my top seven. So there are my rubbish excuses for why I don't watch that much TV now. Now for the top five. These are in absolutely no order. They are kind of top seven, as I said. Tops, the seventh is Broadchurch. The sixth one that just didn't quite make the list is Peep Show. Peep Show, I love. I'm a massive fan of David Mitchell and, again, Olivia Coleman, who played Sophie Chapman in it. And I think I discovered it about two years ago, and over the course of two weeks, I watched it all every single episode and then of course it came back last year for a, a one-off mini-series and it's done again these shows that I love just don't last forever now for the actual top five and my number one I think is actually my number one this is Would I Lie to You I've been watching this for about eight years I did a really awful review of it back in 2010 two team captains David Mitchell and Lee Mack and then Rob Brydon hosts it and a whole host of comedians and celebrities take part and all I can say is the series are too short, it doesn't come back quickly enough and trying to get an audience ticket for that show is like trying to get blood out of a stone, it is so difficult. Then coming a very close second is QI, another one that I've been watching for about 7-8 years love Stephen Fry, was really worried when he left, I thought this is going to be the downfall of the show I cannot believe how amazing Sandy Toxvig is in hosting QI and of course we've still got Alan Davies and the thing I love most about this is that it's not only hilarious but it's really educational and I do try and retain as much as possible from this and there have been times where I'm re-watching episodes as I do on a weekly basis and you know Stephen will ask a question and I'll, I'll know the answer immediately and then I'll realise that the only reason I know the answer it's because obviously I've seen that episode before and I have retained that knowledge. Mock the Week has to have a place in this. Mock the Week was the first British comedy panel show that I watched and fell in love with. So I guess in many ways Mock the Week started my love of British comedy. Which is something for which I will always be grateful because British comedy is the thing that cheers me up when I'm feeling down. Mock the Week is wonderful and it's had some changes over the years. You know, it's the only two solids is that... It's been presented by Dara O'Brien from The Off and Hugh Dennis has been in, I think, every episode and it's brilliant and I think that for me, Mock the Week seems to be a really great platform for launching the careers of um, up-and-coming British stand-up comedians. Going back to Lee Mack for a second, I have to praise Not Going Out and I'm surprised that this has got a place in the top five where Peep Show hasn't but I think I watched Peep Show so much that it's a bit predictable now, whereas not going out, I've only seen the last series once and I think I've seen series one to three each episode twice, so it's not a massive amount and Lee Mack is brilliant, the, the quick wit of Lee Mack is just insane and the fact that he writes this and you know it's his baby, it's his show, it's so good and I love Katie Wicks. Now this one, the next one, I think actually should go before not going out, this is Miranda. I know, Miranda is the best British sitcom 
and I say that while ignoring that Peep Show exists, but Miranda is amazing. I mean, Miranda Hart just never fails to make me laugh, and I love Sarah Hadland, I love Sally Phillips. The style of Miranda is very old school comedy. It works so well. Tom Ellis is beautiful. I just cannot fault Miranda at all. So as you can see, I have a very limited preference on TV shows. Basically, comedy, <laughs> which is, I don't know what, I think for me TV is a quick escape. Half an hour episode, done. Whereas if I want something darker, I'm more likely to watch a thriller film that I can be fully immersed in for two hours or whatever. Of course, I'd love to know which five TV shows you consider to be the best of the best, whether current shows that are, are you know being released or old shows that you like to revisit time and time again. There are obviously other TV shows that I love, like Room 101 and Have I Got News For You, um, that Mitchell and Webb look, Olivia Colman is particularly awesome in that. Um, and obviously there are new shows coming, coming uh, around time and time again that I do kind of check out, but as a rule, TV critic Amy died a long time ago when I discovered film.